Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we're going to be writing our very first program in C++. I want you guys to open up your code blocks IDE, which we have downloaded and installed in the previous tutorial. And uh, I want you guys to click on this create new project or you guys can go to this file new and project. Select the console application, click on this go and then select C++ and next we need to give a project title I'm gonna say hello world and uh, specify the location where you want to save your project and click on this next and click on finish and once you do that uh, you guys can see a hello world project in your workspace and uh, you guys can see a folder called sources and if I open that folder, you guys can see a file called main.cpp. I want you guys to double click on it and delete all the contents present in that. We're going to be building our program from the scratch. All right. The first thing is the extension which is used to save the C++ source file. Every C++ source file must have an extension of .cpp which stands for C++. Similar to the C programming where we were using .c extension, C++ programs must have .cpp extension. And the next thing is about including some header files or some library files to our program. When you download a tool set, you know, it comes with the compilers, the linkers and any other programs which are necessary to build the applications in C++. The vendors are going to provide some library functions which we can use in our program, you know, which contains some predefined features or some uh, operations which are predefined or pre-written, which allows us to write our program very easily. So we just need to include the library files or the header files provided by them to our program and then we can use the features, functions, whatever available from that file. So to include a file in a C++ program, we're going to use something called preprocessor. A preprocessor is nothing but a small program which is going to run before the compilation process. And uh, here we're going to use a preprocessor directive called hash include. This hash include preprocessor directive is going to allow us to include the library files or the header files to our program. So I'm going to write pound symbol or the hash symbol and uh, then include INCLUDE and then between this less than and greater than symbol I'm gonna write IO STR EAM IO stream so this IO stream is the header file which we want to include to our program so that we can use some uh, objects such as C in C out C error etc etc which are gonna help us to you know do some IO task so here just remember that we're not using any extension. Uh, if you guys have any programming experience in C where we were using some uh, .h extension with the header files, this is a new style of headers provided in C++. So no need of any extension. And the next thing is about specifying the namespace that we're going to use. A namespace is nothing but a declarative region in which various program elements can be placed. So this namespace allows us to organize a large programs. So don't worry about it right now. You know, we're just gonna learn more about that in some other tutorials. So just remember that we need to specify the namespace that we'll be using. So I'm gonna write using namespace std. So here, all the library functions, library features, whatever available in C++ are placed under this std namespace. So here, by using this statement, we are specifying that I'm using the program elements declared in this std namespace. And then just remember to add a semicolon here. That's because every statement in a C++ program ends with a semicolon. Okay, the next thing is about the main function or the starting point where the program starts execution. So in every program, there must be a point where the execution starts. So in C++, the main function is the one where the execution of the program starts. So a function is nothing but a collection of statements which are going to do some particular task. Or we can say that these functions are going to contain the action that we want to do. 
so to define a function in c++ first we need to specify what value this function is going to return so here our main function is going to return some integer value that's why we're going to write int and then the name of the function which is main then a pair of parentheses and in between these parentheses we need to specify the arguments taken by this main function but in this case this main function is not going to take any arguments and then a pair of curly braces so here between these curly braces we're going to write the statements that we want to execute so whatever we write between these curly braces are considered as the function body since this is our first program in C++, we are not going to do anything fancy. We just want to print something to our screen. For that, we can use uh, output stream provided by this IO stream uh, header file. And that is called C out. So I'm going to write C out, then a pair of uh, less than symbol, which is also called stream insertion operator, you know, which we can learn that in detail in the tutorial on C out. And then in double quotes, I'm going to write hello world. And next, I'm going to add a semicolon. That's because every statement in C ends with a semicolon. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to return some value because here we specified that our main function is going to return some value. So here, I'm going to use return statement and I'm going to return a value of 0. In a C++ program, a value return 0 indicates that this program has successfully executed. So whatever value we return here will be returned to the caller of this function, which is the operating system in this case. And once you write all these things, just uh, save this and then uh, go to build, build and run. And um, once you do that, you'll get a console window. So you guys can see here, hello world, process return zero, which is you know generated by the code block IDE. So here you guys can see the hello world, which is the string that we wanted to print it. The next thing is if you guys are using any other IDE, such as Div C++, then uh, you guys need to add a post to your program. For that, uh, uh, you need to include another header file called uh, CSTDLIB. So if you guys have program in C where we were using a header file called STDLIB.h, you know, which is standard library.h. Uh, here in C++ to use that uh, file we need to write C then stdlib no dot h is required and this C indicates that this header file is from the C all right next we need to add a statement before our return zero and that's called system and uh, here between these brackets we need to write pause and then uh, end that statement with a semicolon and once you run this save that and go to build build and run you know your program will uh, execute as it is all right so one last time you're going to have a recap a c++ source file is saved with an extension of .cpp and uh, in a c++ program we're going to include some library files which allows us to use some predefined or pre-written uh, features and uh, a C++ program starts with a main function or starts execution with a main function and whatever we write between the curly braces of a function definition is called function body. Alright guys, this is it. This is about the very first program in C++. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and uh, if you guys have any doubt, don't hesitate to put a comment in the video. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.